Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine and in today's video we are going to be making this cookie crew sign with our Glowforge for the 12 days of Christmas. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start assembling this cookie crew sign. So I ended up printing the front and the back pieces on a frosted acrylic that I had because I wanted a kind of the look of a cookie sheet. So as you can see, this is nice and frosted on this side. And this particular piece has gloss on the other side. I got this from cmsacrylics.com and this is 1 8 inch. So that's what this piece is. I just did not take off the masking because I'm going to end up painting the engraving white. And so once I take off the tape, it'll show up white. And what's nice about acrylic is you can kind of clean up the edges after it's dry with paint. Um, so we're gonna do that. And I'm just gonna use some Gorilla Super Glue to attach these two pieces together. And then I'm gonna assemble my little gingerbread people. So these, these are on 1 8 inch Sapili plywood from Smoky Hill Designs. And I have three little people that I'm gonna assemble. And I have this little outline in white MDF, 1 8 inch that I'm going to adhere to each little gingerbread person. I printed these with 3M on the back just so I didn't have to glue it because it would be kind of a pain to glue. So I highly recommend using 3M on the back of that so you can just stick it right on. And finally, there's going to be a stand for this sign so you can uh, assemble it by just putting these two slots into each other. And I'll show you what it looks like at the end. All right, here's the final product. So as you can see, I did paint this in white and it came out really nice. I did have to clean it up just a little bit with some water and a paper towel. It was really easy. So I'll have this file so you can resize it however you wish. You can even resize these little gingerbread people to put as many as you want on this size piece of uh, Board. I will also have an option for a thinner frame just in case you don't want the thicker frame. So there's a lot of options to do with that. So I hope you like it. And also finally, you can put this in the stand which comes with the file so that you can display it however you wish. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in making this yourself, I'll have the file in the description box below on where you can purchase it. And if you are interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code that's also in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which me and my family always appreciate. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and we'll see you in the next video.